Hi everyone. Well, today we are going to make this little lemon character, Amigo Rumi. For him, uh, this one, I actually made him with a three millimeter hook. Uh, we're gonna use a slightly bigger three and a half millimeter hook for this one, uh, an E hook. Um, so for that, we'll also need some yellow yarn. This is uh, Red Heart Super Savers. It's a yellow, I don't remember the exact color code. It was actually, these are great. You can use just scraps in order to create them. You'll need some polyfill stuffing. I like to use a marker. This is more so just to mark my place um, while I'm working on it, especially whenever I do my chain one of the round, I like to mark it. We'll need some safety eyes. Uh, those will actually go right here onto him or her. We'll need a darning needle in order to weave in our ends at the very end. Scissors. And also, mine, some people, I guess, would sew on a mouth. I just used a simple Sharpie and drew on his little mouth onto there. So, personal preference, you'll need some uh, colored thread if you want to sew on a mouth for him or as I did, just a simple Sharpie. All right, to start, we wanna make a magic ring. So, um, easiest way I find is hold your yarn, end of your yarn between your thumb and forefinger. Wrap your yarn around your hand so your working end is on top. Take your crochet hook and pull up a loop. I find it's easiest right into that loop. Place my marker right there and then chain one. All right, and then what we want to do is put six single crochets into the magic circle. So pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. And then we got our six single crochets into there. Pull on our magic tail, or our tail of our magic circle. Don't pull too tight, or else you might lose your chain one. And then just slip stitch into that chain one stitch in order to join your round. And then you can finish pulling that tail tight. And we have round one. For round two, now you don't have to use the marker. I just find it's easiest for me to keep track of where I am into the piece. And then what we want to do is chain one. Then we're just going to single crochet into each stitch around. Then we want to slip stitch into our chain one of the round in order to join. And then we have round two. Now for round three. What we're going to do is chain one, and then we want to put two single crochets into each stitch all the way around. So this row will have a total of 12 single crochet stitches made. And then we're going to slip stitch into our first chain one of the round in order to join. And then we have round three. See, it's starting to look kind of like a little cone thing at the end. That would be the little end of our lemon. 
And then for round four, we'll chain one, then into our first stitch, we want to put two single crochets. And then into the next stitch, we want to put one single crochet. And then we just want to repeat that going all the way around two single crochets into the first stitch, one single crochet into the next stitch. And this round will have a total of 18 single crochet stitches made. And then we simply slip stitch into our first chain one stitch of the round in order to join. And there we have round four. For round five, we're going to chain one and then two single crochets into your first stitch and then one single crochet into the next two stitches and then we just repeat that all the way around so five more times two single crochets into the first stitch one single crochet into the next two stitches which this row will end up having a total of 24 stitches And then slip stitch into your chain one stitch of the round. And there we have round five. For round six, we chain one and then we want to do two single crochets into our first stitch and then one single crochet into the next three stitches and then we want to repeat that five more times that's two single crochets into the first stitch one single crochet into the next three stitches and this row will have a total of 30 single crochet stitches And then slip stitch into your first chain one stitch of the round in order to join. And then we have round six. And then round seven through 13. These ones will all be the same. We simply chain one and then single crochet into each stitch going all the way around. So each round will have 30 single crochet stitches. And you're gonna wanna repeat that. That starts at round seven. So seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 13. So you wanna repeat that a total of seven repeats of that. And I will meet you back here as soon as I have gotten this one to round or the end of round 13. And don't forget to slip stitch into your chain one of the round in order to join. Okay, so we have just finished our 13th row. So now what we want to do is put in our safety eyes. So what we want to do is count up and we want to put the first one in between rows seven and eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I just like to set them inside before I press in the back. And then the second eye, we want to put it between around 12 and 13. Just kind of set it in there. Make sure they're even. And then attach our backs for our safety eyes.
Right. And then we can go ahead and continue. Now for around 14, what we want to do is simply chain one and then single crochet decrease into our first stitches, <clears throat> which is simply you come in, for those who aren't familiar with it, you go into your stitch, pull up a loop, then go into your next stitch, pull up a loop. So now you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. So you single crochet decrease and then single crochet into the next three stitches. And you just want to repeat that five more times going around single crochet decrease and then single crochet into the next three stitches. And then slip stitch into your chain one stitch of the round in order to join. And there we have row 14. Now for row round 15, we'll start with a chain one. And then again, we want to single crochet decrease and then single crochet into the next two stitches. And then we just repeat that five more times. Single crochet decrease and then single crochet into the next two stitches. And this round will end up having a total of 18 stitches. And then slip stitch into your first chain one of the round in order to join. And there we have round 15. Now round 16, we chain one. And then we single crochet, decrease, and then single crochet into the next stitch. And we simply repeat that five more times going around, single crochet, decrease, and then single crochet into the next stitch. And there we have round 16. Now here, where I'm actually going to start stuffing my lemon. So just take some polyfill. Now you can stuff it with as little or as much as you'd like. These being with acrylic yarn, um, I'd actually prefer stuffing a little bit more into them just because I want them to hold their form a little bit better. And now for round 17, we're going to, again, chain one, and then we're going to single crochet, decrease. And then we just want to single crochet, decrease all the way around 
And we're gonna do a total for this round of six single crochet decreases. And then slip stitch into your chain one of the round. Now for round 18, chain one, and we're simply single crochet into each stitch all the way around. Then we'll slip stitch into our chain one. And tie off. And then we'll go ahead and weave in our ends. Now for this, on this end, I usually like to make a stitch through the opening in order to secure it before I start coming in. Now we have our little lemon. Then either sew on a little mouth for him or like I'm just doing with the Sharpie. Give him a little mouth. Give him a little bit of character to his smile if you'd like. And there we are. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to, go ahead and you can share the video with your friends. And if you wish to continue getting a free pattern uh, at least once per week, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and get a notification for it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.